What's up everybody? Welcome back to Smell Good Feel Good. I'm Cody and this is Stud Muffins. Today we're doing something a little bit different. Today I am doing my top 10 summer fragrances for 2019. Now first off I want to say I don't have the most ginormous fragrance collection uh, to pick from as far as my fragrances goes and I'm not putting any of these fragrances in any particular order, okay? Um, I could switch out the top three with each other and it really uh, wouldn't matter. It just kind of depends on the day. Also with these fragrances, I'm not going to give a big overview of everything. I'm not going to be giving a note breakdown or compliments factor or anything like that. I'm just going to give you a general sense of what the fragrance is. Okay, so first on my list is Bagari's Aqua Amara. This is a nice, salty, uh, sea breezy type fragrance that has very good performance. I heard it's discontinued. You used to be able to find it at a pretty good price. Um, you can still find it at a pretty good price, but the price is going up. But I've been seeing it still at my local discount stores like Marshalls and TJ Maxx. So you guys can probably check them, check out those places and you can find it there. Next on my list is Yves Saint Laurent Ultime. It's good for both spring and summer. This is just a very nice, sweet flanker to uh, Yves Saint Laurent's Loam. And um, it shares a very similar DNA to Loam, but it just has a little bit more sweetness to it. All right, next on my list is a clone by Alexandria Fragrances. It's called White Zest. It's a clone of Allure Homme Edition Blanche, which is a discontinued fragrance, but very popular. Just a very creamy, sweet, citrusy, um, lemon lime type fragrance. Um, very nice casual wear fragrance for the uh, summertime. Got uh, about average performance out of this. It's not beast mode, but I do get average, and I've gotten some nice compliments with it. All right, next on my list is the very popular Tom Ford Gray Vetiver. This is the EDP version. I think the EDT version probably works a little bit better in the summertime, especially if it's really, really hot and humid where you live. And uh, I, I don't know, I just really like the, per, uh, the a little bit better performance with the EDP version. But this is a very nice, classy, dressed up type of vetiver fragrance. And uh, you really can't go wrong with this one. All right, next on my list is something that I just did a fragrance review of, and this is English Laundry's Cambridge Night. This, uh, a lot of people kind of compare this to Mont Blanc Legend or Invictus Aqua, uh, the original formulation. So this is a shower gel, um, kind of citrus aquatic type fragrance. And it has actually really good performance, uh, and you can get this for really cheap. I got this for 15 bucks at my local Marshalls. All right, my next fragrance is again a clone by Alexandria Fragrances. This is Alexandria Port, and this is a clone of Tom Ford's Neroli Portofino. And you know, just like the uh, name says, Neroli, you get Neroli, you get citruses. Just a very fresh, slightly soapy, bright, citrusy fragrance. And the great thing is, is with this, I get really, really good performance with Alexandria Port. Whereas whenever I had my uh, Tom Ford and early Portofino, I got like 45 minutes of performance out of it. And then it was gone. I could not smell it. And my fiance still, she couldn't smell it on my skin either. So it was, I wasn't going nose blind. It was just gone. Next up is a... One that's pretty popular right now, it's uh, John Barbados Artisan Pure. Uh, John Barbados is known for making really nice fragrances that aren't just your very generic type uh, fragrances. And this one is just a nice citrusy, kind of a soft, albeit whenever I first apply it, it does come off a little um, cleaner smelling, like um, cleaner that you use to like clean your kitchen countertops or whatever, but once it dries down, that harshness goes away. It smells much nicer. Um, and one of the things about John Barbados fragrances is they usually have pretty poor performance, but with this one, I actually get really good performance out of it. And you can find this really, really cheap. I wanna say at my local Marshalls at one point, they um, had them on clearance for like, I think it was like 15 bucks. 
Um, and I and I paid retail for this one just because my fiance she smelled it and she really liked it. I actually think she likes the smell of this a little bit more than I do, but I still like it. Um, but I went ahead and bought retail. And um, but yeah, don't spend retail. Go check out your local discount stores because you can find it really cheap there. All right, next, and this is the last of the Alexandria fragrances that I have on this list. This is Hawaii Volcano. This is a clone of Creed's Virgin Island Water. And um, just a very nice coconut, lime, um, rum fragrance. Very smooth, it's not harsh, and um, I get about average performance out of it. It's not beast mode on my skin. But man, I took this with me on vacation to Florida and I was really loving it and so was my family that was with me at the time. Just a very nice fragrance. Does smell very, very similar to Creed's Virgin Island water. Um, so I would give this a look and I guess Alexandria fragrances, they do make an intense version of this, which I heard is an amped up on that line note. So you might wanna check that one out too. All right, in the number two spot, even though you know I said that these aren't in any particular order, but this is uh, number two, is um, Dolce Gabbana Light Blue Intense. This is a, again, this is kind of like a citrusy shower gel type fragrance, a little salty. But the, it, it's very nice, very big crowd pleaser fragrance. It's not um, a hard one to like. Uh, and the thing that I like the most about this fragrance is how good the performance is. I put this on and I get beast mode performance, at least on my skin. I get really good projection, really good longevity, really good sillage. And you can get this one pretty cheap too at like your local discount stores. In fact, that's where I got this one. I got it at a local discount store. One of the uh, people I worked with was wearing um, the regular light blue and I thought it smelled really good on them. And um, they didn't have the regular light blue at the Marshalls that I went to, but they did have the uh, O Intense version. And so I picked this up and I like it even more. Just a very nice, salty, slightly melony, um, aquatic fragrance with really good performance. So definitely check that one out. The other flankers uh, to the light blue um, aren't that great in terms of performance. Um, they're actually pretty bad. And I did try the new one, um, can't remember what it's called, like The Sun or something like that. And I thought it was okay. Um, I think there's other fragrances that give that kind of beachy vibe that sunscreen type vibe and do a little bit better job. Um, but I thought it was okay. Unfortunately, my fiance absolutely did not like it. Um, she said there was just something in it that she did not like. So I'm not even gonna bother buying a bottle of that one. All right, guys, so I could probably put this in my number one spot, honestly. Um, Terre de Hermes Ultra Fresh. Uh, this is, whenever I first put my nose on this, I felt like, instantly in love with it. Sorry guys, they are testing the tornado sirens um, right now, so if you hear that in the background, I do apologize. It's good to know they're working though, because we actually just had some tornadoes come through about a couple weeks ago, did a lot of damage. Um, to uh, the town down south from where I live, where my parents live. Uh, luckily, my parents are okay. But anyways, so Terre de Hermes Ultra Fresh. To me, whenever I smell this, it smells like I just peeled like an orange, a clementine, uh, a mandarin orange. And like if, when you smell your fingers after you peel those uh, fruits, that's what this smells like. To me, it smells very uh, natural smelling. It doesn't smell synthetic to me at all. And I just really love it. And orange is my favorite color, and it's got like this orange tint to it. So I really like that. But this is just a really nice, citrusy, fresh fragrance. Uh, really good for casual wear. You might even be able to pull this off dressed up, but just really, really nice. However, I don't get beast mode performance out of it. I'd say my performance from this is just about average. But man, I just really, really love this one. Love the bottle. Love the way it smells.
All right, so there you have it, folks. That is my review of my favorite top 10 2019 summer fragrances, my first top 10 video, and uh, I hope you all really enjoyed it. I hope you liked my selection. Um, I enjoyed them, but like I said, I don't have a huge, you know, I don't have hundreds of bottles um, to select from. I've become even more picky with what I uh, buy bottles of. But anyways, let me know what you guys thought. Um, what's your favorites out of these selections and what's your least favorites uh, out of these uh, selections here? And anyways, I will see you all next time in the next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.